they designed and built Heathrow's Terminal 5, they were thinking big. This is the largest single span building in the UK. You could fit 50 football pitches inside. And when you're choosing your career, it doesn't pay to think small either. If you've got big ambitions to work hard, learn new skills, gain qualifications and earn good money, then it's worth thinking about a career in engineering construction. Because in our industry, the opportunities aren't just big, they're massive. Engineering construction is what's holding this roof up. There are 80,000 tonnes of metal in the steel frame of this place, and it's our engineers that design and erect the structure at the heart of a project like this. But that's just a part of engineering construction. Engineers from our industry also design and maintain the machinery that's used in food production, technology that brings us our energy, and fuel to power aircraft like this. In fact, engineers from the engineering construction industry make and maintain the infrastructure and utilities we use every day. They're at the heart of design, planning, costing, service and repair for a huge variety of sectors. Everything from food production to processing nuclear waste. Exploring for gas and oil. Or working on sustainable technologies to provide new sources of energy for the future. Brewing, smelting or milling paper and steel making industrial petrochemicals, and they're responsible for the structure of every metal-framed building, making the bones of shopping centres, sports arenas, schools and skyscrapers. Choose an ECITB apprenticeship in engineering construction and you could choose from a huge variety of craft and technical careers. Something for just about everyone. I'm Carl Paul. I'm Alex Baker. I'm Ryan Taft and I'm a mechanical fitter. My name is Graham Reid. I'm Ruth Atkinson Layton and I'm a mechanical designer. I can just. Oh. <laughs> I'm Ruth Atkinson Layton and I'm an apprentice in mechanical design. I first got involved in an apprenticeship. Um, they were offering them at school um, through that way, but we had a sixth form college added onto the school. Um, we were more pushed into college than apprenticeships. But then one of my friends, she's a fabricator, um, she got me on a three week course at NETA. Um, so I did that and then decided that I really wanted to do an apprenticeship. I think the apprenticeship's probably the best route you can go into a job. Um, you'd still go to college one day a week, you've still got the opportunity of university if you want to. You get the appreciation of work and college at the same time. When I finish a drawing, I'm I like to print it off. I like to see what I've gained from, from where I started to when I've finished the drawing and what I've learned throughout the drawing and like the questions that I've had to ask the lead engineer. I've learned from that. Yeah, you earn the money as well. <laughs> That's the best thing. <laughs> Over 550 flights leave Terminal 5 daily. That's a lot of fuel. Satisfying the demand for oil and designing, maintaining and servicing new sources of energy are big challenges for the engineering construction industry. If you're looking for a job that's something really different, you could choose an apprenticeship that specialises in the crafts and trades we need to keep gas and oil flowing in the North Sea. My name's Graham Reid and I'm a trainee structural designer for AMEC in Aberdeen in their oil and gas industry. When I managed to get the job, I was over the moon about getting the vacancy and since then I wasn't actually expecting it to be as good as it is. Um, I thoroughly enjoy my job and I can get up in the morning and like what I'm doing so I, it's, that's a good, great benefit of it as well. My apprenticeship will be finished in September of this year. Um, it's really up to yourself the, the time scale that you can do. You can actually do it within the two years. It may take some people a bit longer. It really depends on the project that you're working on with your company. My day-to-day -day job at AMEC involves the fabrication and installation drawings for some of their offshore platforms. I'm currently working on the Apache field at the moment. When you're finished your apprenticeship there's a lot of opportunities, especially to earn yourself a good salary. And I mean it's, it's well known that the oil industry is quite a wealthy industry and if you're, if you're good at your job you'll be rewarded and you, you'll have a great career path. And, and you'll be able to buy yourself the things that you enjoy in life. 
Terminal 5 has been designed to cater for flights to and from destinations across the world. And working in the British engineering construction industry can mean global opportunities too, wherever you're from. Before I went to ECI TV, I had got GCSEs, like uh, two Bs, a couple of Cs and that. I went to college for a year to do a business course but I kind of I did, didn't want to be stuck inside and like working outside doing this job you get like new sites all the time working up in London Brighton quite good yeah I'm really enjoying it it's good uh, good laugh with everyone everyone gets on well and it's a good sense of accomplishment when you look at what you've done and you see all the steel work and everything and you know that you put it up well, the most challenging part of the job is definitely when you are on city jobs and you have to go out on the steel. So you're sitting on the steel, you're clipped on and everything, harness in your harness, and you got have to fix quite an awkward fix where you haven't got much room to manoeuvre anything. All in all, when you finish it, when you do it right, and it's just a good sense of accomplishment. So it makes you feel good. Oh, now I can work anywhere. Like a couple of lads are telling us he did the apprenticeship a couple of years ago. One of them's going out to Australia, and he's doing a steel action over there, so you can go all over the world. In the future, I see quite a lot of potential for what I can do. I can move up through the company, uh, I've become like an director and you'll get good money for that, so I'm quite pleased with that. And then if I want, I can become foreman after that and a lot of stuff to do. And if I ever want to change my path, I've already got my apprenticeship under my belt, so I can go for anything in construction really. Because the UK engineering construction industry is the biggest in Europe and the biggest anywhere outside of America, our qualifications and expertise are respected and in demand from companies across the world. This means good jobs at home and big opportunities abroad. And once you've completed your apprenticeship, there are clear ways in which you can progress further, taking more training and higher qualifications. Work hard and you could succeed at the very top of the industry. After having gotten into my apprenticeship, it opens your eyes up to a lot more things and I've seen a huge amount more than what I thought even ever went on. Working here, I can get home and I can feel as though I've actually done something through my day and as though I've really have gained something by doing the drawings and like learning stuff for other people. Uh, for me, the like, best part of the job and what I've done so far is just getting up in the air, the experience of like getting like that like four ton beam and bringing it in and then putting all the bolts in there, get everything sorted out with no problem. It's a good feeling. It's absolutely massive. The, the companies that we're currently working for have, have got work planned for the, as far as 2020. Um, so I mean it's an ongoing thing and it's a very busy industry. Grissy work with apprenticeship for me is what is earning money whilst I learn and also gives me opportunity. It's because I'm such a big company where I'm at in such a good career, I know that like the future is bright, as long as I work hard at the moment, I know that I can go and progress and do things what I want to do. There are around 70,000 employees in the engineering construction industry and you could be one of them. If you're looking for a career that's big, engineering construction is massive.